Julius is suffering from Alzheimer's. His memory and his connection to reality, even with his wife of almost 50 years, are slowly slipping away. But today, Julius and a handful of others with dementia at the Pacifica Senior Living Facility in Northridge are participating in a new UCLA program that harnesses the power of music. Tell me if you can hear the music. So we have 10 iPods that were donated through UCLA our caregivers once a day will put the iPods with the music that the family has chosen that they can recall from their past. They don't react that much anymore um, due to their um, health issues but then again um, when they listen to their favorite music you know we get a smile and only for that it really matters it really means a lot for us. <laughs> it's all part of the national nonprofit Music and Memory Program. UCLA researcher Dr. Josh Grill is leading the effort throughout Los Angeles. We're interested in providing individualized music therapy to try to help better treat uh, symptoms associated with agitation and frustration and improve quality of life for patients, their families, their caregivers, um, everyone we can help. The oldest childhood memories in the brain are the ones that Alzheimer's steals last. Nora grew up with country music. Joseph always loved classical. Janice swooned to Frank Sinatra. Is it possible that music connects them with the memories they have left? How does it work is an interesting question. We know that music activates the brain differently than does spoken word or um, even a series of tones that don't provide a melody. Um, it's possible that music can still activate the Alzheimer's brain, a brain that's undergone neurodegeneration in a way that other interventions cannot. There are few studies to confirm the connection, but the anecdotal evidence is strong. It's fabulous because you can instantly see them kind of exhale and calm down because they're reliving a phenomenal time in their life. Patients sleeping through the night for the first time in, in several weeks or complete, eating a complete meal where that used to be a, more of a challenge. Can you play a boogie for us? Music has always been a big part of his life. He's been playing guitar since he was seven years old. I think the music relaxes him and he gets in his own little world when he's listening to music. After listening to his old band's music on the iPod, even with advanced Alzheimer's, Julius picks up his guitar and plays. I want to let them know that they are loved and um, that we are doing everything that we can, like music and memory, to reach whatever's left. Music, he knows that. So, mm. Yeah, I know that. You know that. <laughs>